10 big cities, including New York, Salt Lake City, Indianapolis, and Cleveland, twice, changed superintendents in 1995. But as schools opened that fall in Philadelphia, David Hornbeck exuded confidence about his children achieving program. There's no city in the nation that has embarked on a more comprehensive or ambitious effort. It's clear that anything less simply won't get the job done. To Hornbeck, full-day kindergarten was an essential part of children achieving for two reasons, an early start on education for children and child care for working parents. When Hornbeck arrived, most of Philadelphia's elementary schools did not have full-day kindergarten. I'm very shy about standing up here. What have you learned this year in kindergarten? ABC. Your ABCs. But when his second year began in 1995, nearly every elementary school was providing full-day kindergarten. That's reality. When kids come in, do they, they know their names? Do they know how to spell their no, names? No, not necessarily. Not all children. So you have to teach them to spell their names, yes. to write their names? Yes. They're going to be able to read better and earlier, and as a consequence, um, have uh, a great, uh, a much greater uh, sense of success. Teachers wanted something done for them, and Hornbeck found the money to do it. To handle unruly students, teachers wanted Hornbeck to create accommodation or timeout rooms. They're saying, you know, we have a problem. Who's going to help us? And it's not a new problem. It's been going on for years. And uh, I have, as their advocate, been pushing uh, to do something. Kirsch and Hornbeck celebrated in October. Step, the most important step in bringing about real educational reform and change. And so, in advance, Mr. Hornbeck, we thank you. So what Ted and David have done here, I think, is a cause for great optimism about the future. Only if the PFT and the School District of Philadelphia get together and agree on a common agenda can we reach the next plateau. I don't care who gets the credit because it's effect that's affecting the classroom. That's making teachers happy. Bottom line is, it's working, and that's what's important. But soon, PFT President Kirsch would care who got the credit. He was running for re-election. I have a job as a union president. I have a responsibility to the membership. His opponent was running an aggressive campaign. He was accusing Kirsch of being too friendly with David Hornbeck. There's no faction of progressive teachers who get involved in union, in union leadership. So Ted is always feeling that he's got to play to the right. You know, he's got to become more conservative because that's where his opposition is coming from. One way to play to the right was to erase Hornbeck's successes. The PFT reporter, the current issue, and you write in your column, our efforts succeeded in establishing an expanded kindergarten program and earlier leveling of classes by avoiding the delayed hiring syndrome and so on. A couple of real things that have happened some people are saying that's part of children achieving, but you seem to be taking credit for it here. If uh, you would like, I can show you that before David Hornbeck came to uh, Philadelphia as superintendent, uh, those items, as well as many others, were part of our educational reform package. You've been president for a long time. Hornbeck comes in, it happens. Shouldn't he get at least part of the credit? Well, I think, well, yeah, okay, you, you can give him the credit, but when he came, we had already gotten the parents were concerned about it. The city council was concerned about it. It was high on everyone's agenda. I don't know why he waited until I got here and raised the money to make these things <laughs> happen. Uh, but um, I, I, it doesn't offend me particularly. Ted Kirsch was re-elected, but the breach between Hornbeck and Kirsch remained. I used to think that once they were safely re-elected, they would sort of change their tune some. But I'm beginning to doubt that because there's always something. One of these somethings was a report that the union had heard about but had not seen. The union believed that this report advised Hornbeck to target it as the enemy. Well, I think his strategy uh, is based on a survey that we have uh, found out about where a political consultant said, make the union the enemy. And therefore, all of the actions uh, coming out of the administration building are pointed towards the union, the baddies. That was in June 1996. 
It came up again in April of 97. Now, we have talked to people who have seen the report. I mean, this isn't paranoia on our part. The union says there is a report written, supported by foundations, it's advising you that the way to win this struggle to reform Philadelphia schools is to make the union the enemy. Is there such a report? Those recommendations uh, have been made to me, but, but there's, not, there's not a report. Where's this report? Ah, if you find it, I'd like it. <laughs> the $64,000 question, because if we had a copy of the report, uh, everything that we have been saying and everything that we have alleged would be in black and white. It came up again two months later in June. Yes, there is a report. Nobody seems to have it. Uh, if it really is not damaging, then why don't they show it? I've got it. Ooh. <laughs> How did you get it? It doesn't say what you said. Uh, what, what report did you get? I have both of them, the two documents. Which two? I'd love to Prepared read. for the Greater Philadelphia Urban Affairs Coalition. No, that's not Robertson, it. Robertson, Lair, Sawyer, Miller. Achieving reform in Philadelphia schools. Focus groups? Coalition, yeah. Focus groups, the whole thing. Got it, both, all of it. I want to know your reaction to it's not saying demonize the teachers. Well, then they left. Then you don't have the full report. If these are the actual reports, and we haven't seen them, then why is it that we have been saying this for more than a year, we have gone to a variety of sources, to get it, why wouldn't they give it to us? Why wouldn't they come out and say, union, all these things you say, it's wrong. Why? Can we have a copy before you leave? 